Hello and welcome back to the Old Soul Millennial Channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an exhaust leak repair on this 2006 Honda Pilot. So, where the catalytic converter flange meets with the flange that goes to the exhaust pipe, which leads back to the muffler, that flange has rotted away and it's not repairable, meaning that it can't bolt right back together. Now, the owner of this vehicle took this car to a muffler shop and he got a repair quote at $2,000. But in today's video, I'm going to repair this for about $100. Taking a quick look at the car, you can see what our problem is. So that flange is no good. So what my plan is, I'm actually gonna cut off the flange at the cat. I'm gonna weld a little stubby piece of exhaust pipe on, and then we're gonna use an exhaust butt coupler clamp to clamp back to the uh, exhaust pipe, which leads back to the muffler. Another thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a new exhaust hanger bracket. You can see I, I've just utilized a piece of wire to kind of hold it up there uh, temporarily, but we are gonna install a new exhaust hanger bracket to ensure that we don't put too much stress on that clamp we're gonna install. Now this job is gonna require some welding, so the first thing we need to do is disconnect the battery. Both battery leads have been disconnected. These are generally 10 millimeter bolts. So to make this job a little bit easier, I drove the car onto these drive-on ramps. Now in case these fail, I do have a secondary jack stand underneath the front end of the car so I don't get crushed. But now, I need to start cutting this pipe, so I'm gonna cut the main exhaust pipe going back somewhere around here and we need to cut this flange off the cat off. I plan to cut this flange after the weld to ensure I have as much meat to weld onto as possible so let's get cutting. So I was initially going to cut this off uh, before the flange, but my new plan of action, I'm going to take a plasma cutter and cut off all these ears and then just grind this down nice and smooth to get a good bite with my welder. The uh, reason I'm doing that is because there's a lot of meat right here and I want to use this to uh, attach my weld to. If you didn't have a plasma cutter, what you could do, you could take a cutoff disc on a four and a half inch angle grinder and just cut off each ear, but that would require a good bit of grinding. So. I'm hoping with the plasma cutter that will reduce down on the grinding and make this job go a little bit smoother. Now let's cut our short piece of tubing that's going to be welded on that flange. All right, so now it's time to weld this pipe onto this catalytic converter. Now I'm fortunate in that this two and an eighth inch diameter actually slides right into the hole for the catalytic converter. So this is gonna make it extremely easy to weld. Uh, the, the only tricky part is just gonna be welding this pipe on here straight. So I'll do a little tack, check to make sure it's straight, then I'll weld all the way around. Uh, also, I'm not inserting this very far into the cat, maybe a quarter inch, just enough to kind of hold it in place, give it a little bite. You don't want to slide this in here all the way because that may restrict exhaust flow, but just having a little lip in that flange, like a quarter inch, that's not going to be a problem at all. So let's weld that on and then I'll have to do another cut on this pipe and then we'll put our uh, butt coupler clamp on and then I'm going to weld on a new exhaust hanger bracket and this job should be finished up. All 
All right, now time for the fun part. We're going to install this exhaust butt coupler clamp to attach these two pieces of pipe to one another. But before I install that, uh, something important, you want to make sure that you have whatever it is that you're trying to clamp together supported. So I have the cat supported with this uh, jack stand. And you want to ensure that the pipes are not sagging. You don't want to create a low point for condensation and moisture to collect. So uh, I've had my helper look down the pipe to ensure that the pipe is pitched properly. It is. So now we're going to install this clamp. It's helpful to have a sharpie. So what I like to do, put the clamp right in the middle. We'll make a mark on either side of the pipe. The sharpie just so we know once we put this over the pipe that it's pretty well centered. So this piece goes right in the center of the clamp. Put this off to the side so you can kind of see it get assembled. And so we have our centering channel, center piece, whatever you want to call it. Don't want to fight us a little bit today, huh? Uh, uh, and we'll cinch her down. Nice. nice. Alright, now we just gotta finish by installing that exhaust hanger bracket. Alright, so now we need to work on supporting our repaired exhaust. So, if I saw this earlier, I probably would have had the customer buy a new uh, rubber exhaust support uh, cushion or grommet, whatever it's called. But because I didn't see that, I actually had the customer buy one of these. This is a replacement exhaust hanger. So my plan is I'm going to weld this onto the cross member up here. So we're going to have to grind this down a little bit. And we're also going to have to cut this bar. But I'm just going to weld this bar onto the pre-existing bars of the muffler here. So we'll cut that, cut that about there. We'll grind this out. Make some marks. And this should last for the lifespan of the car. All right, so I just finished welding on this exhaust hanging bracket. I also added a little bit of high temperature spray paint to help protect the welds, but now if I take this exhaust pipe, wiggle it around, it moves around a little bit as it should because with this new exhaust hanging bracket, there's still like this rubber grommet and the holder right here, but uh, you know, not the prettiest looking welds, but it's definitely gonna hold for quite some time. And I'll show you the exhaust clamp one more time, how that came out. 
So there is the exhaust clamp, and I also added a little bit of high temperature spray paint to where we welded that new little stubby shaft onto the cat. So everything looks real good. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Hope this video was helpful. If you're curious where you can find these exhaust butt clamps, I will leave links to these in the description down below. Just when you do buy these, ensure that they are sized appropriately for the exhaust pipe that you plan to use them on. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, I will catch you on the next one.